Hello and welcome, this is Alan from Rimuru Files and we are here today to do yet another unboxing and that item is going to be none other than this Lemillion statue that is brought to us by GreatToysOnline.com So while we tour around this box, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel or maybe just like this video so we know you like this kind of content You can also find out our latest updates by following us on the usual social media channels that's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can find everything we make on RaymaruFiles.com. Anyway, as you can see, the box is a rather simple presentation, but what's inside is what we're really after. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, just gonna have to carefully, as much as possible, don't want to damage this box. Take out the tape at the top. There's oh, three sides to it. All right, and here we are. Okay, as usual, we have that cardboard protection to make sure the goods do not get damaged. And we can already see our boy Mirio in there. Again, remove the tape. And what we have here is a bag, plastic bag of all the parts separated. We're going to have to assemble it. So, just carefully open this and rip. And okay, that's the base. There's the cape. Next is the torso, got caught, legs, and ooh, look at that. And finally the head, just get focused on it. And in no time at all, I've assembled our Lemillion here. Check out that one million on his chest, beautifully painted. There's a bunch of other details like the folds and the drapery around the boots. Even though it's plain white, you can see a lot of musculature detail. It looks great against the light. Just moving across, you're gonna see a, a lot of sculpture detail despite the simplicity of the color scheme. You can see musculature across here in the chest and the arms giving it a lot of tension. You can see here that the hair is actually a bit deformed just to be able to exaggerate the motion even more. And you can also see the detail on that cape to balance all that action happening around the legs to around his head. And with that much going on, you can just turn this statue around and get a lot of nice dynamic interesting angles to look at with the exception of maybe the back because the cape is blocking the head unless you like to see the back muscles or the tush yeah. not gonna judge you if that's your thing anyway like the character despite the simple presentation there's actually quite a bit going on around here anyway that's it for our boy Mirio Togata or Lemillion a great desk piece